everyone, this is Mrs. Taryn, and today what we're going to do is we're going to draw a little outdoor scene. Uh, we're gonna draw some ducks in a pond. We're gonna draw a frog and a turtle, and we're also going to draw a bear, okay? Are you ready to get started with me? All right, let's get going. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we have our paper, and we have it landscaped, so we have it long ways, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is over here in the corner, I want to make just some little squiggly lines, okay? And that's gonna be the outline of our pond over in the corner. All right, now on our pond, we're gonna draw a frog, okay? So what we're gonna do is we draw just a little bit of a rounded circle, and that's for our little frog's head. And then we're gonna do two circles on the top. Those are our frog's eyes. And if you just put a little black dot right in the middle of that, it makes a little frog's face and a little smile, and it looks just like a little frog. And then what we're gonna do is we just kinda make like a little half circle, and we just complete that little half circle, and now the little frog is on a lily pad, and he's like sitting on that, and then he's gonna give you a little wave, okay? Now we wanna draw, just another lily pad on our pond. And then also we are gonna draw some ducks on our pond. And we did this in a um, video earlier, okay? When we did the little farm scene, we're gonna do some ducks on our pond like we did that time. So we make a circle for the head and then we wanna give our duck its body. So we just go back with this and then we wanna make it have a little wing and we wanna give our duck an eye and a beak. Okay, and then we want to make just a little wave underneath that. Now we can draw another duck. So we give it a circle for its head, and then we give our duck's body, and you can make these different sizes. And then we want to do a little beak for our duck, and then also an eye. And then we just go ahead and give some more waves to our pond. This just adds some more details to our pond. Okay, so now around our pond, we wanna do some grass. So I just make some kind of half, you know, just some long shapes like this, and I can do it like this. I can even make it straight up and down. And then you just wanna add some different grass to the edge of our pond. Now, right here at the edge of the pond, I also wanna make a turtle. All right, so the little turtle is almost going to the water. So I'm going to draw a circle. And then from that circle down at the bottom, I just draw kind of an, a long oval, kind of long skinny oval. And then I just put a little hump on that long skinny oval, give our little turtle a tail, give him some legs. And he's got a really big, um, turtle shell, doesn't he? And then I'm gonna give him a little smile and I'm just gonna do some little circles on this turtle, all right? Now, another thing we can do to add to our picture is we can draw a bear. Now, this little bear is wondering what is going on down by the pond. So we're gonna make him peeking out from behind a tree. So here's our tree trunk and it's right here to the edge of our paper. And then after I get up here so high, I just kind of make some swirly lines and that's the top of our tree, okay? And then I just wanna add some details into that just to kind of make it look like the um, fluffiness of the leaves. And then down here, I wanna draw our bear. So I'm gonna make one circle that's bigger than the others. And I wanna make a smaller circle inside of that and then I want to put a dot and his mouth. This little bear's eyes go right above that circle that you made. And then you want to give him some ears. Okay. And then his body's just sticking out from back behind there. All right. Now, another thing that we can add, we can add some birds up in the tree. All right. And then just some lines down here on the ground. And we can even add to our picture a tent. We can add a fire next to our tent. So we have a campfire. 
and there uh, the little bears wondering what is going on and I'll show you a picture of that once I finished it I colored my picture and you can see that I outlined it with darker colors and I made my little bear then you can add in this picture you can add a tent with a campfire and you could add other animals too so that would be super fun see if you can find some different animals to add okay I'm so happy you um, joined me today. Have a great day. Bye, guys.